I'm Alan, and welcome to the Maine. This coming Thursday, September 14th, is our Welcome Back to School dance. Tickets go on sale on Monday, and it'll have food, music, and fun. Hope to see you there. Last week was really hot, but thank goodness this week has been a lot cooler. This Monday, we remember 9-11, and the ones that we lost in the collapse of the Twin Towers on Monday, 22 years ago. Two planes crashed into the Twin Towers on early morning of September 11, 2001, killing almost 3,000 people and still affecting many more who inhaled debris. Today and Monday, we will remember them. Hey guys, we're the art team, and today we're going to talk about the importance of art. Art helps you process your emotions and understand your surroundings better. The benefits of art are building motor skills, improving communication, and it boosts your self-esteem. It helps with memory and self-control. It teaches us creativity, problem-solving, perseverance, and it focuses on collaboration. We hope you'll send us some of your art, and that's all from us. Bye! Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Sports News. Today, we're celebrating Spain because they just won the Women's World Cup. Spain had an amazing run in the World Cup. They only lost once against Japan. They lost 4-0, but then they had an amazing winning streak. This is Spain's first time ever winning the Women's World Cup. So we gotta celebrate this. And they're one of two countries that have ever won both the Men's and Women's World Cup. World Cup from a 29th minute shot by Olga Carmona. Now on to Caden for basketball. On Friday, the FIBA World Cup started. For people that don't know, the FIBA World Cup is for basketball. USA is off to a hot start, winning both of their qualifying games against New Zealand and Greece. In their first game against New Zealand, they won 99-72. to Paulo Banchero scored 21 points and four rebounds to give USA the win. Over to Hart. Banchero again. Shoots over Wetzel. In their second game against Greece, they destroyed them 109 to 81. Austin Reeves led the scoring with 15 points, six assists, and five rebounds. An amazing game for him. Look at Austin Reeves come up with the D, and now he's going to leak out, and he's going to go up. I wonder how far the USA can go. Well, I'll see you on the next episode of Sports News. ASB is hosting a back to school dance on September 14th. There will be music, food, and games. The space way to go with the dance is to wear your favorite sports gear. Tickets are sold in the ASB office starting September 12th. We hope to see you at the first dance of the school year. Bye, Lions! I receive your homework. You receive a good grade. The teacher said to do the backside. There. What? Do the homework or draw 25. Me. Buff the teacher makes you do icebreakers. Nobody. One lunch Wednesday. Me. I am once again asking for the homework answers. Big. Beginning of school year. End of school year. Do homework. Anything else? Me. Yes. So how many cats like that? Yeah, it's different. Currently, my youngest son 
has a little, he's a chihuahua and terrier mix, I don't know. But um, his name is Astra, and he's a tiny little thing, and he's adorable. These are the pets that were submitted to us this week. If you want your pets to be shown on the, in the main, and go to Google Classroom and enter this code. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorian, uh, back with Random Weekly Survey. Last week's question, which was finally answered, was what's your favorite sport? Starting at number five was volleyball. Wait. Football. Uh, number four was basketball. Number three, volleyball. Number two, soccer. And the number one most favorite sport at the school was Baseball. Uh, okay, now for the bottom three, though. Uh, starting with one that's actually not that bad. Irish dancing. Uh, number two, competitive ironing. And probably the strangest one so far, droge ball. I, I don't know. This week's question is, what's the best color? Hey, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. A sub to the channel would be absolutely amazing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Juju, and welcome back to Teacher Interviews. Today we have with us Mr. Ruben, the principal. Thank you for joining us. Our first question of the day is, what's something you're looking forward to this year at LHMS? We have so many great events at LHMS, I look forward to a lot of them. Uh, one of my favorites, and it comes in the spring, is our red carpet event which is when all, our, all of our Digi kids get together. And a lot of parents come in, and it's super fun. So I hope, if you're watching this, you get a chance to come to that. That is amazing. Our second question is, what are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? Well, we've been camping. I can't, I've been camping with my family for like the last 30 years. And uh, we like to ride off-road things. So I have like a sand rail, and we have quads, and that type of thing. So we have a good time with that. Uh, I like to golf, but I'm not very good at it. And other than that, I just like to hang out with my dogs. That sounds like fun. Our final question for the day is, why did you choose to become the principal of LHMS? Well, that's a good question. I've been principal at a lot of different places and a lot of different levels, from, from continuation high school all the way down to adult ed to middle school. And I started teaching in middle school, and I started my, my administrative in middle school, and I really wanted to come back to that. So. I love middle school kids, and this is one of the reasons why you guys are great. So, by the way, you guys are doing a great job. That's amazing. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.